What's up, guys? Neil Orf with you here, taking a look at Stochastic's MLB DFS lineup generator for tonight's slate. It is July 25th. While you're coming in, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. If you have not yet signed up for the lineup generator, you can still get it for 50% off your first week using the link in the description of this video. Or if you are on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it, you can just use the link that is in my tweet or Zeet or whatever you want to call that. Just use that link. You're going to get it for 50% off your first week. It's going to be just $4.48. It's still going to be $8.95 after that. It's still a fantastic deal for a tool that will only give you plus EV lineups. Every lineup that you're going to get from the lineup generator has been run through the stochastic sims. It's been found to be long-term profitable. I'm going to start here looking at some DraftKings lineups. After that, we'll look at some FanDuel lineups as well. We're going to do all stack types, all lineup types. And these are the actual settings that I typically start with. I'm going to skip locking anybody in. All right. First lineup we get here is a 4 4, no, sorry, a 5 3 Giants Brave stack with Aaron Savali and Corbin Burns as the pitchers. Let's start by looking at those pitchers in the top pitcher stool. So it's Burns and Savali. We got Burns as the third overall with an 18% chance of being a top two pitcher. Savali down at sixth overall with a 10% chance of being a top two pitcher. Just 7,200 for Savali. Uh, so two of the better pitchers on the board. And then we have the Giants and the Braves as our stacks looking in the top stacks tool. Braves second overall with an 8% chance of being the top stack. Giants fifth overall with a 6% chance of being the top stack. So two of the better stacks on the board, two of the better pitches on the board as expected. Let's take a look. So it's not particularly chalky. This is, you know, kind of mid-range in terms of uh, the chalky to contrarian scale. Obviously projects well. Every lineup you're going to get here is going to project pretty well. We've got some really low-owned bats in here. Bailey at 5%, Wisely at 1%, Riley at 5%, Schmidt 3%, Harris 3%. A lot of really low-owned bats in this lineup despite having two of the better stacks overall in the top stacks tool and then you know a little bit of ownership going to the pitcher Bur burns at 40 percent is pretty high but savali just 22 percent uh reasonable ownership overall and leaving a lot of salary on the table this one leaving 1800 on the table still projects really well obviously a good looking lineup as you know because every lineup we're going to get here is going to be a profitable lineup all right second lineup we're looking at is a 5-3 guardians cub stack with charlie morton and blake snell as the pitcher so completely changing everything here charlie morton coming in at under one percent ownership uh, i'm not sure what's going on there have not looked into the situation for charlie morton why he would be getting such low ownership let's check it out though so we got morton and snell in the top pitcher tool Snell, second overall, with a 21% chance of being a top two pitcher. Charlie Morton, kind of middling in terms of uh, top two pitcher odds, 7% chance of being a top two pitcher at 0.5% ownership. Okay, so he's in Fenway, so that explains the low ownership on Charlie Morton. 7% uh, chance of being a top two pitcher, though, despite pitching in Fenway. Two of uh, One of the better pitchers on the board in Blake Snell, and then a middling pitcher in Charlie Morton, but coming in with a little bit of positive leverage. All right, and then the Guardians and the Cubs as our stacks. Cubs third overall with a 6% chance of being the top stack. Guardians uh, fourth with a 6% chance as well. So two of the top stacks on the board, one of the best pitchers on the board, and then a low-owned pitcher that gives you a little bit of positive leverage in Charlie Morton. Looks like a good lineup once again. All right, now I'm just going to go through and save 20 lineups and see what my exposure looks like after I've saved 20. All right, 20 lineups in. We have 55% Pablo Lopez, 50% Andre Jimenez, and then we drop down from there. Everybody else below 50%. Looks like a lot of guardians at the top of the board here, and then some pitchers mixed in. We guess, I guess we got Wilmer Flores in there at 40% as well. Austin Slater at 30%, so some, some giants sneaking in there as well. Overall, I'd probably be okay with this 20 lineup set. Maybe I'd want to get to a little bit less of the Guardians, kind of spread out my stacks a little bit more, but honestly not getting to such a crazy high amount that I would uh, necessarily get rid of any of these lineups. Probably probably okay just running this 20 lineup set out there. All right, let's take a look at some FanDuel lineups as well. I'm do all stack types again, all lineup types. Not going to lock anybody in. All right, first lineup we see on FanDuel has Justin Verlander as the pitcher. Let's check out the top pitchers tool. Verlander down around 
eighth, seventh overall in terms of uh, top pitcher odds on FanDuel with a 5% chance of being the top pitcher at 2% ownership. So a little bit of positive leverage on Verlander against the Yankees. And then we have uh, Guardians as the primary stack with a three-man giant secondary stack. So look on FanDuel. Guardians third on the board with a 6% chance of being the top stack. Giants fourth on the board with a 6% chance of being the top stack. So two of two of the top stacks on the board. And then uh, pretty pretty nice leverage on Justin Verlander at pitcher. Save that one. Once again, we're getting the Guardians and the Giants. Now we have Blake Snell as a pitcher in the second lineup. Blake Snell third overall with a 7% chance of being the top pitcher. All right, now I'm going to go through and save 20 lineups. You can see here this one leaving, I guess, just 800 on the table. I'm going to save 20 lineups and see what comes out, what kind of exposures we have. All right, first 20 lineups we got to, similar to DraftKings, Pablo Lopez, our most exposed player, at 55%. Then we have Wilmer Flores as our highest-owned bat, Ahmed Rosario, Austin Slater, all 50% for those three. Then we drop down to 45% for Jimenez. And we spread out fairly well here. Again, a lot of Guardians and Giants near the top. Now we have some pods on FanDuel as well. Pablo Lopez as the highest owned pitcher. Again, you might want to spread it out a little bit more to mitigate your risk a little bit, but probably uh, spread out enough here that I'd be okay with this in 20 lineups. I wouldn't, wouldn't want this kind of exposure if I were doing 150 lineups, but for 20 lineups, I don't mind being a little bit more concentrated. I think that I would probably be okay with this level of concentration on my players. All right, that is going to do it for this video. Again, if you haven't done so, please do like the video or the tweet or whatever. Good luck tonight, guys.